Hello everybody, my name is Dark Chris, and welcome back to Unicorn Simulator 9000. In the last video, we found and tamed our first unicorn, and today we are to find many, many others. Um, actually, no. In all reality, we're going to do the Great Cowl of Nocturnal, which was a Creation Club edition addition. <laughs> um, I've never done it before, so it should be kind of interesting. If you enjoy these videos, or series, or me, or the channel, make sure, leave a like, and subscribe. The normal stuff, I'm going to sell out at the beginning of every video, because it seems to happen more if I do it at the beginning. Um, but yeah, thank you to everybody who does. We are growing at a good rate, over 500 subscribers now. It's pretty cool. I also stream on Twitch. I just got done streaming, actually. Um, Twitch, you know, Yarl Chris, there's a link in the description below. All that good stuff. Okay, so we have to go into Riften, apparently. Um, I've never done this before. I think I already said that. Yikes. Just saying things to say them now. Um, why are you pulling a... You you good, sir. Um, what is hap... Why is my control... My controller was just shaking. Okay, that was very strange. Oh, there's a dead body. Let's touch it. Alright, if you find a dead body, don't touch it. Just a tip. It's got all sorts of loots on him. And a thief's note. That's one thing I honestly don't like about the Creation Clip stuff, is everything has to be done through notes because there's no added voice lines. And god, I hate reading on camera. Well, I guess I'm not on camera right now. Actually, my webcam's on because of streaming, but you can't see it in the final video. Anyways, the fox told me he wore the cowl to forget himself and start a new life. Yet I'm the one who can't remember. Every time we meet, he's a stranger to me. Or was it a she? It doesn't matter. I spoke his words to a beggar. Told her, Shadow, hide you. She slipped me a note that confirms my suspicions. The great fox is dead. And now that I've seen his headstone, I know for a fact his time is over. And the cow will be passed on. I'm going to be the next one who wears it. I'm gonna be the next one to wear it. That's kind of strange seeing gonna in a sentence in Skyrim. And when I do, I'll become so rich, I won't need any memories. I'll just buy new ones. That's, um... One way to approach it, I guess. So now we, what, talk to a beggar or something? Ooh, look at this. Hmm, that button doesn't seem suspicious at all. I wish I could touch it. Okay, you're on something today, man. You know, I like it when I'm in these energetic moods for videos. You know, I need to, like, step up my YouTube game. Need to be more energetic. Need to make better thumbnails. I know that. Um, Shadow, hide you. Of course. Of course. That's one thing I want to work on. As well as not jumping too much. I want to, um, I need to get a new editing software just so I can edit better. I mean, because the one I have right now, I've used it for like a year and it is just not good. It's just difficult to work with. And I also need to, like, I kind of want to just buy Adobe Photoshop just because and learn how to use it. I know there is free versions, but I feel like Photoshop is the easiest one to work with. But I'm not really sure. It's a big investment, so. Okay, what are we looking for? I didn't like look in the upright corner. Okay, read the stranger's note. Where are you? Um, S T spell tome, spell tome, spell tome, spell tome. Stranger's note. Okay, I hate that the white text pops up when you first read it. It should pop up after you close it, especially because it like spoils everything. I don't want to see it. You're here about a job. You don't know what it's for, but I'm sure you're intrigued. It's all right. You don't need to know everything just yet. There's a strong box in Baldi's house, placed on a dresser next to his bed. Find a way to crack it open. Your instructions for the job are inside. A stranger. Okay, my character wouldn't normally do this, but because it's Creation Club stuff, I'm going to do it, just so I can experience it all, because it's stuff that I haven't done yet. So yeah, that's the explanation. I'm not going to do the actual Thieves Guild, and this is kind of like Thieves Guildy, but I'm doing it just because it's new. So, you must forgive me. Alright, hello, you. Stop looking at me. Oh, I can just walk in. That's nice. My hello, fine people. If you're looking for a handout, you'll want to speak with my husband. If you're looking for company, I suppose I could do worse. Volley's around okay. somewhere. Planning to feed the poor with his nonsense. I could tell him that there is something what happens if I do that? I guess I should say her. She's not a him. Oh, now that can't be good. Oh my god. I can check it out for you. Make sure it's not a trap. Nah, I don't think so. Oh. 
Such a waste of time preaching to the poor. I'm so that hungry, they should you know what? Whatever. I want to say there's a bomb in it. I'm serious. There really is something in that strong box. Oh, now that can't be good. No, it's not good. It gets better. It's rigged to explode. <laughs> I can disarm it for you. Thank you. That's just not that something that would be in like that. Just shouldn't. <laughs> she gave us the key. That's not. That's just no. That doesn't make sense. Ooh, requested report. Bully, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your suspicions are likely cl correct. I've been following Nivenor as you requested, and I'm fairly certain that she has an extramarital relations with more than one individual within Riften. Oh my god, this poor man. I have yet to obtain proof of her adultery, so please do not confront her with this information until I've secured it. I'll waive the usual charges for now, but expect full payment once the proof is in my possession. Who is doing this research? And I love that he just left it right there. Like, I don't care. She can find out. Okay, forge deed. Don't take that. Nivenor's journal. Oh, it gets worse, doesn't it? Oh my god, this is like some whole, whole nother subset. I've always despised my husband's charity, but at least it was just coin. Then he let that stranger into our home for dinner. He was an odd sort, prone to forgetfulness and a wandering eye. I wasn't sure if he was staring at my bosom or the amulet around my neck, but stare he did. It wasn't entirely unwelcome, but I wasn't about to flirt in front of my husband. Besides, it turns out he wasn't staring at me at all. He actually wanted to know about the creepy doll behind me and asked if I was expecting. I told him I wasn't, and the doll was for one of Boldy's charity cases. Erica and Solitude asked us to take in a child for reasons that are beyond me. I told Boldy I wanted nothing to do with the urchin, but my husband is stubborn when it comes to his bleeding heart. Luckily, a few days after the dinner, the boy just disappeared, and I know better than to care. Oh my god, she's a terrible person. And last but not least, Stranger's Instructions. See, I just don't like that these things are popping up. It's like, no. You've made it this far, which proves you're ready for the real work. But first, let's go over why you're here. You may have heard the gray fox is dead, it's true, but the fox lives on in the one who wears the cowl. This job will tell you that... will tell me if that person is you. Who am I? That's not important. Just a stranger who wants to see the cowl passed on to someone who deserves it. As you might expect, the job won't be easy. It requires fast thinking and fast fingers, but get it done, and you'll be worthy of being the next Grey Fox. Take the forged deed in the strong box, then find a woman named Gizli in solitude. On her should be the real document. You'll relieve her of this burden, and then place the fake in Erica's house. She'll think she misplaced it. When the job is done, find the barrel behind the winking skeever for further instructions. A stranger. So this is basically just sending us on a wild goose chase, which isn't a bad thing, necessarily. Mark my word. Yeah, please shut up, you cheating little s Okay. On to- <laughs> Off to solitude. Cheaters deserve nothing. She should, like, go fall in the canal or something. That's what she deserves. Um, what's in here? Spare some gold for a veteran? Why is it pointing me in the radiant raiments? Oh, because Gizli's in here. But you can just call me Erica's sister. You sound quite bitter. Welcome to the center of the world. Or at least my brother Erica's world. Okay, you sound like a again terrible later. person. Please shut up. Sister dear, could you try sewing these sleeves a little tighter? We can't have our customers looking sloppy because of your work. Oh, certainly, dear sister. We couldn't afford to have our customers look like the simple pigs they are, now could we? Good. And while you're at it, perhaps you could sew your mouth shut when our fine customers are within earshot, hmm? You two have the same voice. That is just disturbing. Elder Scrolls 6 needs about a thousand more voice actors. Not really, like 12 more, at least. Come on in, just stoke the fire. Take a seat and cool. Get out. Can I pickpocket you? No? What if I turn invisible? Do I have an invisibility potion? I feel like that's something I would have. Yeah. ha ha ha, I'm invisible now. Why can you see me? And why is homeboy just here in the corner staring at nothing? Yeah, you know, what happens if I just Oh. I hope you're not planning on picking your pocket. I'm not. I thought I would get caught since I was, you know, detected. You know, the people would just be like, oh, he just took something out of your pocket. You know, you would think, but honestly, people are terrible. And they will just watch crimes happen and not say a thing. So it doesn't really surprise me. 
I I hope in the next game that the cities are also bigger, and I know this is kind of like off track, but Solitude being the biggest city in this game is a crime. I mean, no, Solitude should be the biggest city, but the fact that the biggest city is only as big as Solitude is should be a crime. Okay, Eriker's house. This one might actually require some stealth, which I totally lack in. It's kind of not what my character is meant to do. But we will persevere anyways. Hello, anybody home? Do I have to... Okay, I have to bring it upstairs. I guess put it in a spot that makes sense for it to be misplaced in. Seems like I have to go upstairs again. Okay, for some reason I just like had the impulse to check my gold. I think I was thinking about buying Proud Spire Manor in this game, which is like $22,000. I'm like, ooh, do I have enough coins for that? I'm like, no, you don't. Ooh, a letter to Gizli. Construction on the port east of Jahana has been approved and will begin once a transfer of land is official. The boy's consent should suffice as the head of the Iceblade clan has long been absent and the mother is taken ill per your brother's instruction. The deed is enclosed with this letter, sending the boy to Riften before he's old enough to grasp what happened. is a good idea. Not the orphanage, though. It's best he live in comfort lest he suspect our motives. Still, it's a dangerous gambit made more complicated should the rightful heir return. Your brother would kill me for saying this. But if you have the chance, it might be worth selling the venture for the right price. This has been more trouble than it's worth. M. Oh, there's all sorts of stuff going on. And can I just, like, take this back? No, I can't. There is a bunch of stuff going on that I can't wrap my head around. It seems like they're... I don't know. I was going to say something, and then I forgot. Hmm. Seems like they're... Obviously, they, like, killed this kid's family. And he's the heir. And they're trying to get rid of him. For some reason. I don't know why they killed his family. I mean, it said they wanted to build a port in this place. So they got rid of the clan. Is that what it said? Yeah, something like that. Where am I going now? Oh, I'm still just going in here. Okay. Couldn't I have just check the barrel for instructions ahead of time and totally skip this part. I don't know. I'm not just no mathematician. Is it true what they say? There was a dragon held captive in Whiterun and you you released it? By the gods. Man, why? Huh? I was going to say like something, but I forgot what it was. It's like the um the Oh my god, there's something up here. What's the meme? It's like my, my, my intentions are beyond your understandings or something like that, or my motives are beyond your understanding. Something like that, I think. I was going to say that, but then I got up in his face and I totally forgot to say it. I love how they made this like sneaky boy stuff. You can sneak around like a snick. Um, being really weird today. I love it. Down here. In a barrel. In a barrel. Four sacks of flour. Make sure I munch those down. Stranger's final instructions. Huh. Nice white text. You're good. You picked our pockets clean and made the switch. Now you'll need to put those skills to the test and more. In Silverdrift Lair is a tomb that houses an ancient Nordic clan. Near a large chest is a corpse with a lantern. Its candle still burning. It holds a key. When you have the key, open the chest and you'll find a sword that can raise the dead. When you find it, bring it to the grave of the Grey Fox in Riften. It's a small, unmarked headstone on the east side of the cemetery. Complete the task and maybe you'll even get to meet him. A stranger. Hmm. Very intriguing. Okay. This video is probably going to be a little longer than usual. I just kind of want it to be. Like, I want to upload like a 25 minute video today. Or a 30 minute video today. Even though today is yesterday. Because this is getting uploaded on Thursday, and I'm recording this on a Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday, right? Yes. Because tomorrow is Thursday Night Football, and I don't get to watch it because I'm going to be at work. And it's a good game. It's the Chargers versus the Chiefs. And I know none of you watching this who are even here anymore probably care at all about football. Maybe one of you does. And you'll sympathize. You're going to be like, 
you're not going to get to watch that battle of AFC heavyweights of arguably two of the best quarterbacks in the league. Not arguably, just two of the best quarterbacks in the league. And this is really ranty, but it's like, it sucks. And worst of all, it's on Prime Video, which you have to pay for. It's like, you're going to make us pay for primetime football now? Unfair. Unfair. Amazon, I hate you. Not really, you send me good stuff in the mail. But I pay for it, so does it really matter? Ooh, there's bandits out here. It's about time we got some action. I've been saying that for a while. Okay, down with the bandits. I hope somebody who loves football was just watching that and they're like, you know what? Relatable, man. Because, you know what? I'm going to have to go to work. It's probably going to be a slow night because it's out of season. I work at a restaurant. And it's a seasonal restaurant. We're only open in the summer. I mean, we have two or three weeks left. I think it's three. And you know what? Thursdays are boring. Saturday is the only day that's kind of busy now. And it's like, I'm just going to sit there and make some french fries because I work in the kitchen. And I'm the fry guy. And my job isn't even that exciting because I don't do much unless it's really busy. Because all I do is, like, make french fries. I'm, I mean, I do a lot of the prep work, but that's before like, the actual night starts, so I just sit there kind of bored all night long. It's like, I don't even feel like I'm needed there. But, I am there. Now I'm just, like, ranting about my life. But, the best part of it all is my boss also loves football, and he hates it. And that's why we only, we don't work Sundays anymore at the end of the week, because he will not miss Sunday football. But apparently he's willing to sacrifice Thursday football. My voice is starting to die, too. I don't know why. I've been, like, singing in the car a lot lately. And I think that might be why. And, obviously, I just streamed for an hour, so that was talking. And I've been talking this entire time. Okay, Mr. Draugr White. You have nothing on me. Ooh, harvest your blood. Yes. Now all I need is Falmer blood, I think. And then I can read. No, let's not spoil it, even though everybody knows. Okay, come on, chest. Stop making me look stupid. You know, if you're still watching this video, let me know if you enjoy the energy of me not shutting up right now. Or if it's, like, ruining your experience. Because I know some people like it when, you know, people let their personality shine through. Which I feel like is what's happening right now. Um... Quail? Whale? This thing's gonna drop on my head. How do I open it? Where's the lever? Oh, it's right there. Oh, so I guess if I pull this one. Nice. You know, me in real life, I would totally be like, <laughs> I wonder what this does. I can't wait until there is like full haptic body suits where you are just part of the game because then I'll be able to do all these shenanigans without risking my life no leave me alone um why am I not unrelenting forcing him to death I hate that stupid glitch you gotta shout and if you're like in any way shape or form attacking at that moment in time it's just like nah do any of you guys have a key no but you have gold what about oh they're loving each other Okay, neither of you have a key. You're gonna actually make me pick this lock. That is stupid. Hmm. Maybe I'll see you when I finish. No, 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 no. I got it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, I'm so good at this game. Best Skyrim player ever. The Sword of Clan Ice Blade. Ancestral Sword of Clan Ice Blade. Cool sword, dude. Alright, let's read their note. To my descendants, the Ancestral Sword of Clan Ice Blade has an enchantment that dulls the blade for anyone save those descended from our bloodline. It serves as definitive proof of one's ancestry above all other claims. Sigrold Ice Blade. Cool. I don't care. I'm using it just to get the Grey Cowl. Which I want for reasons unknown to myself and others. It's like my man is possessed. And he's like, must have crime hat.
I mean, it is interesting. I'm not gonna lie. Another expert chest. No. Whoa. This guy has loot on his dead body. Oh, chest key. Yes. What? I have been defied. Bamboozled. That's not fair. So it unlocks the one that I already lockpicked. That's stupid. Luckily, I'm just so good at this game that they can't handle it. Whew. Maybe I should record when it's not midnight more often so I have more energy. I'm recording it's still only it's like 9 o'clock in the evening. So it's still kind of late. What's this? I totally... Oh. I totally feel like this should just do something. So if I'm having that lever there, I should just pull that. Ooh, loot. Coin, purse, coin, purse. Potions, chest. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. What's in here? Activate the handle. Imagine waking up from a thousand years sleep and just getting shouted into the floor. Like, this man just walks in, and it's like when your mom wakes you up from school in the morning, and she's just yelling, because you slept through your alarm, it's 7.30, the bus is two minutes away, so you just wake up to screaming and getting smacked in the face with a hammer. I mean, I don't know if that part happened, but, yeah. You know, let's pretend I didn't say that. Okay, I'm okay. I don't need help. My mom never actually waked, like, woke me up with a hammer to the face. That's just me being a little dramatic, a wee bit. Oh, that's way deeper. I'm being a wee bit dramatic, but we've all been there, you know, getting yelled at because you slept in. Oh, there's more to the dungeon over here. Whoops. Oh, you want to play that game? Ah. Okay, I'm okay. How did you not fall over? Kill on, ooh, still on. See, I am a drogger. I can speak language. All right, why can they shout more than I can? Their cooldown isn't as much as mine. That's stupid. I'm a dragonborn. You know, they seriously underpower your abilities in this game because, like, in lore, you know, those with the voice, the tongue, the super lickers, you know, they, they look so powerful. They could do anything. How do I get through this door? I really don't know. I feel like this is somewhere you can't get into unless you've like done a quest or you're in the process of questing. Oh no, there's a handle right there. I'm just being dumb. Bonk. I thought you were a normal Draugr and that was just gonna totally knock you right out. Why do you just have a, like a skeever cage? See, I'm so happy because we hit 500 subscribers, and I'm like, ooh, I get to use the community tab now. Screw off. But, you know what? They don't let you use the community tab for like a week. It takes upwards of a week to unlock. And it's like, why? Why? That's, that's all I need to know, like, why? I hit 500, I should just have it. Right? Why wouldn't I? I, just, I want, I just, I'm not mad, I'm disappointed, and I just want to know the actual reason, because it seems like they're, like, it should just be, you know, you hit 500, click, maybe you have to, it's like, oh, you need to maintain over 500 for, like, a week, you know, so you don't get, like, back under 500 or something, but I feel like also requiring people to have 500 subscribers to use the community tab is just kind of, like, detrimental to YouTube, and it used to be a thousand, which is the threshold to get monetized. And I feel like that threshold is just stupid. I mean, for one, YouTube can still mon like advertise on unmonetized videos if they so choose. So, I, I mean, I doubt that you guys are seeing ads in these videos. But if you are, I get nothing for it. They're just profiting off of my videos. Oh, no. Let's not play this game. Whoa. Who do you think you are? Bonk. Alright, you stand not a chance against me, sir. Your buddy, on the other hand, he might. But, who knows. 
Oh yeah, this is gonna be that long video I was searching after. Ooh, a ruined book, my favorite. What's this? Gold, my favorite. Dude, why are you running from me? Are you really that scared of me? What shouts can I use on you? I have so many. Um, I can mark him for death, storm call, nah, slow time, fire breath, nah. Disarm, yeah. It, what? It just didn't work? Hey, be kind. Oh, I have a level up. Let's use that to heal. Okay, what can I level up? Ooh, I'm so close to 90. Um, speech? No, useless. No, not useless. I know it's like, I'm in the middle of combat, so you'd think I would do something else. But, nah. Oh, I got this guy on a stagger trip. He just doesn't know what's happening. He didn't stand a chance. All he has is a battle axe. What a wimpy boss. Okay, steel mace. Ooh, shout. Word wall. What do you have for me? Hand at dis- <laughs> That's kind of ironic. So, weapon hand. Shout defies steel as you rip the weapons from an opponent's grasp. Cool. It's a fun shout if it actually works. 250 gold. Iron arrows. Stuff. Chain. Pull. Open gate. Oh, you know what someone told me in the last video? That these soul stealer area- that these soul stealer arrows are very overpowered. But I don't use a bow with this character. I mostly use a crossbow, so we're not really going to get to experience that with this character. But I just thought it was worth mentioning, I guess. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe you guys are like, I don't care. But that one guy who mentioned it, if he's still here watching, he's like, he really does care. And it made his day, made his week. And for that, I say thank you for watching into this 27 minutes of me, like, you know, I'm saying words, but they don't mean anything. You know what I'm talking about? I was watching a Markiplier video earlier, and he said that, basically, he's like, yeah, I did, I did. You know, he was just like, you know, I'm just sitting here saying words to take up time. They have no sustenance behind them. That old woman who runs the orphanage has been murdered. No, you didn't. She was evil. Anyways. Okay, so apparently his grave is right here. It doesn't look like it would be a grave that the Grey Fox would be at. Um, there's a Stranger's Journal, which I can't... It's just like this is the Stranger's Journal. Oh, so much... No, not a lot more reading. The curse of the Grey Cow will said to strip you of your identity, wiping you from all of recorded history. But the curse was broken long ago. The truth is, it wasn't Nocturnal that robbed me of my life. It was my selfishness. I wore the cowl out of pure greed. I left my family because I loved only myself. Then my sister passed, leaving her son an orphan, the last of the ice blades, heir to a fortune, and easy prey for the wolves. With the boy in danger, it's time I took responsibility as head of his clan. But if I'm to be his father, I have to stop being a stranger. I must pass the cowl on to another, and in doing so, the gray fox must die. Until then, I come to this grave every night bringing flowers to ask my sister for forgiveness. You've done well. Thank you. The Gray Fox, it's been an honor to meet you. Oh. I guess I can say other thing. Oh, wow. That was just sitting there? I wish I found it first. What? Uh, okay. So you were the Gray Fox all along. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Of course. I trust we'll never need to speak of this again. Yes. To anyone. Oh, so this is the child. Hi there. Okay. Trust we'll never need oh, and guess what? We now have the Grey Cowl. Grey Cowl of Nocturnal. Sneaking is 25% better. Carrying capacity increased by 50 points. Nearby living creatures, but not undead machines or daedra can be seen through walls. Turns guards hostile. Interesting. Let's make a save. And I'll put it on. And look, now you can see everything. But the guards will be angry. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is where I'm going to wrap it up. If you did, make sure, leave a like, and subscribe. It was a fun one. I think I had a good commentary, even though it was a little rambly at times. By a little, I mean a lot. But like always, hope to see you in the next one. 
Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.